name is Ms. Mel and I'm with the Environmental Literacy and Outdoor Education Program with Anne Arundel County Public Schools. There are many ways that we can get outside and enjoy nature. You never know what you might be able to discover. Today, we're going to take a look at skunk cabbage. Let's go! In one of the earlier episodes of Head Outside, Miss Liz discovered skunk cabbage on their walk. We thought we would explore skunk cabbage a little bit more. Skunk cabbage is found in damp, marshy areas, and it is one of the earliest spring flowers in our area, sometimes blooming as early as February. It is also one of the most fascinating. When the plant blooms, it has a purplish mottled hood called a spath, which surrounds the spadix, the petalless flowers. Pretty interesting, huh? Looks like we have one that we can see the bloom. It's left over. Um, it's kind of gotten a little old, but there's the bloom. And this was the petal that went around it. From the picture from before, you can see it was pretty colorful, but there isn't much left now. Once the plant finishes blooming, the cabbage-like leaves begin to unfurl. Some of the leaves can become quite large. The leaves last until about June or July when they begin to wilt and decompose. The skunk cabbage is a thermogenic plant, which means it creates its own heat. It can generate enough heat to melt snow and thaw the ground around the plant up to 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That is like temperature inside your house in winter. So why is it called skunk cabbage? You guessed it, because it smells like a skunk or rotting meat. P -U. It is attracting early pollinator insects with this smell before all the other plants are blooming. Thanks for joining us today and learning about skunk cabbage. We'd love to see what you've discovered. Go explore and share what you found with pictures and videos and comment below. Look for more Arlington Echoes, head outside. Go explore and see you soon.